Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Start Stitches. I hope you are all okay. Um, happy weekend if you don't work weekends. Sorry if you do. Sorry, I always say happy weekend. I don't know. If you work, are you happy when it's a weekend? If you're working at the weekend? Don't really know. Happy Saturday. I'll say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, uh, not much in this video. I've had one delivery arrive this week. Um, and yeah, I've got a finished project to show you and I'm working on something secretive that I can't show you. So um, yeah, it'd be quite short, but um, thought I'd share with you what I've done so far and then um, yeah, hopefully a little bit more to share with you next week. So I will start with delivery. So I had my Woolly Mama's uh, Colour Collage Club, that I always have trouble saying. Uh, my August instalment arrived this week, so that always does normally come in the first week and a bit of of the month, so a week to ten days. So this is August's, and as you can see, very stunning colourway. Um, sort of Polynesia type themes I feel going on here, sort of Hawaii, Indonesia, all that sort of colourway. I've never been to these places, I'm just making um a sweeping statement there and an assumption um, but those are the sort of colours that I feel that is um, so yeah really pleased with that one it's really lovely um, still need a plan for all these monthly clubs still need to do my uh, care bears from last year I wanted to make a blanket for the bed um, need to just stop working so that was our only delivery for this week. Um, so obviously I've got discrete unicorns to come, which will probably be maybe end of next week, week after. And then spectrum fibres, which I imagine will be towards the end of August from Briny. Um, in terms of clubs, um, I think my next Flora Society instalment from Toft is due this month. Um, so we had Feb one in February, one in April-ish. Yeah, May, June, no, that's not right. One in February. March, April, one in end of May, beginning of June, because I did it just before holiday, that was it. So yeah, we should be due around now um, for the next, so that'll be the third instalment. Um, but we have successfully completed one of our Dolls Club, one out of three that we have received so far that um, Hubby bought me for Christmas. So I have finished Beatrix Potter. She's done. Um, so I've obviously had to be very slow with my wrist, um, so I finished this probably later than I anticipated and I also had done, uh, finished my Toft Sweet Pea from Q before going back to this. So I had started her before the Q session. So um, yeah, here she is, so I'll try and fit her in. So she's got, I'll show you her little shoesies there, her little boots that do come off with her laces. Then we've got her dress that sort of I want to say bulbous, but I suppose because it's Victorian times really, wasn't it? It was a poof, poof skirt uh, with frills around the bottom, if you can see that. And then we've got some pleats in here from the skirt. I'll try and do close up for what you can see. We've got her waistband and her little pearl, uh, like necklet, necklace, necklet, you know, brooch. That's the word I was probably looking for. Got her little, uh, little, uh, bell sort of sleeves with the ribbing. I haven't got my words today, I'm really sorry. This happens to me, it keeps happening, I'm losing my words. Um, yes, yeah, so sort of the trim. And then she's got her bun and her bonnet. Um, and if I turn her round, we have her shawl here. It's, I have actually, you'll see it if I turn it round, you can slightly see, I've tacked it in there so you can't see when her leg, her arms are down, but I've just sort of tacked it on because otherwise I was like, I'm not too sure how I'm going to secure that. So it's just sort of tacked into her very loosely. So if I ever wanted to cut it off, I could. Um, so sorry, that's her shawl at the back there that we've made. And then the bonnet and all the flowers on her bonnet and her strings there. Um, I will take off her hat because it can't, does come off so you can see. I think I've done her bun too high. I think you were supposed to do it a little bit lower down. Um, but yes, tis what it is. Um, so let me squish her head out. She's probably got bits of straw hat in it now. Um, so also for mine, you can probably see some, you can sort of see where I've sewn it in. 
Um, I've tried to do it in a way that looks like it might be intentional in terms of her hair. It's a bit, it reminds me a little bit Barbara, didn't Barbara Streisand have a bun a little like that in one of her musicals? I'm trying to, I don't, funny girl maybe, I don't know. Um, because what you do is you put all this hair on um, as strands and you pull it up and tie it together and then you literally get a, pe a whole ball pretty much, apart from the middle, of cocoa plop it on over the top and sew it in place um so it's pretty much most of your ball of yarn there um just obviously already already balled up caked up i mean yeah however you say it. but that is her bun so i think that's how high up it is i think it should have been a little bit lower down here but i couldn't get when you put the top the hair in at the top to get all the hair pieces i wouldn't be able to get it all in because of the length i did them long enough but I just felt like I'd end up with loads of ends poking out somewhere. So I've ended up with a bun being a bit ballerina bun, I would say. That's probably why it's so high, because I was so used to doing ballerina buns on my hair. Um, but there you go. There she is. She's got little ears either side. And there she is with her bun. Tried to keep this all really neat and tidy, because I'm really, really OCD about that sort of thing. There we go. So I'm going to put her bonnet back on. See if I can squish her head in. If not, I'll, un I'll probably just undo it. That's easier. So it is, it just ties the two ends together. So we'll just loosen that off so we can get her bonnet back on. And it's kind of moulded the shape now because she's been wearing it for a, a week and a bit. So we'll tie that back up. Give you your bonnet back, Beatrix. Um, but yeah, she's all done now. So she's my first dolls club that hubby bought me for Christmas. So one down, two to go. And there'll probably be a fourth one coming soon. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed her. I love the pastel colours of Beatrix, actually. They work really well together. Um, and I did like making the teeny tiny shawl as well. So that's quite cute. So I need to get a doll stand out and put her on a little doll stand and maybe put her behind the Queen and Prince Charles. Well, King Charles now, sorry. So yeah, she is done. Um, so I'm currently, sorry, talking while I'm over there. Um, I'm currently doing a tester kit at the moment, which I cannot share with you because I'm testing it before it's released. Um, so I'm working my way through that at the moment because obviously I need to go back um, on that as soon as I can. Obviously not as quick because of my wrist. is it's, all, it's okay, but if I twist it there, I can feel it down here. So I'm going a little bit slower than I probably would normally and not quite doing as much. I'm stopping a little bit earlier than I probably would normally because... I'm just conscious I don't want to exacerbate it. Um, so yeah, that's, I can see it out of the corner of my eye at the test kit I'm doing, that's off camera. Um, plans next, so I've got, obviously I've got plenty of toft kits to do. My list of toft kits is ever growing. The Quagga came from Conservationist and I do really want to do that. But I also want to get cracking on my Ed's Imaginist Box 15 entry. Um, I've drawn it out and sort of planned what I want to do. So I think I will probably, after this test kit, maybe start on my Ed's Imaginist. Because um, I think the deadline is the 30th of September. And I know we're only on like the 12th of August today, but it's going to creep up really quick, I think. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Then maybe do the quagga. Then, I don't know, maybe go back to do some more vegetables. Um, I've still got some more patterns that I want to do vegetables for and I want to get those done. So yeah. Who knows? Who knows? You know what I'm like. I'll say I'm going to do one project and then I'll go off and do something completely different. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of it, really. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I'm probably due another Crochet Society box at some point. I got one in June. Was it June? Yeah, before we went on holiday, I think. Or did it come when we were on holiday? So there are every two months I've paid for. So we'll see. I've got another one of those coming. And just clubs, really um because i'm now in the dye club the conservationist club with toft the dolls club and flora society um so yeah birds is the only one i'm i'm not oh and i'm in the imaginist um yeah so that's about it i know this is a really short video but i won't keep waffling on um i'm gonna go and get cracking on carrying on with this tester kit get that done um so then i can uh, pick up my next project I have to take my time as well because I have to check things like the pattern is numbered, the count is correct, 
all makes sense. It's it's not just stitch it and go. It's checking everything with a fine tooth comb. So, um, and then obviously feeding that back after. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, that short video um, or this short video. Um, apologies, it is a little short, but um, save me waffling at you with nothing much to show you. Um, yeah, have a good weekend, and I hope to see you all next time. Take care. Bye.